When you look at San Francisco's philosophy on the defensive side of the ball, it really hinges on their ability to get to the quarterback. So usually they invest pretty heavily in this position, and that's why they picked up Drake Jackson with his second round pick. But heading into his third year, he was still dealing with a knee injury that landed him on the physically unable to perform list last year. So he had off-season surgery, and that unfortunately didn't go to plan. So recently, San Francisco placed him on the physically unable to perform list, and since this did happen in training camp, that means he will miss the entire 2024 season. So in hopes of re-solidifying their defensive line with some young talent, San Francisco signed the 25-year-old Jonathan Garvin. In this last season for the UFL, Garvin registered 3.5 sacks, 2 passes defended, 2 forced fumbles, and 19 tackles over just 10 games. So will the former UFL player actually be able to make a push for San Francisco's 53-man roster? Foster, we're about to find out by examining his career up to this point, some of his strengths and weaknesses, and what he offers San Francisco going forward. We are first introduced to Jonathan Garvin at Lake Worth High School in Lake Worth, Florida. During his course of his career there, he looked unstoppable too. As a junior, he had 93 tackles with 36 tackles for loss and 9 sacks. But his best year by far was his senior year, where he had 97 tackles, 59 tackles for loss, and a school record 18 sacks that season. And after this productive senior season, 24-7 Sports had him ranked as a four-star recruit, and he had offers from Florida Atlantic, Boston College, Clemson, Tennessee, and Miami. Ultimately, he did decide to stay close to home and enroll at Miami. And as a freshman, he was able to make an immediate impact in 2017. He finished that year with 9 tackles, 3 tackles for loss, and 2 sacks. His following year in 2018 might have been his best for Miami. He started in all 13 games, racking up 60 total tackles, 17 tackles for loss, and 5.5 and sacks. He also broke up 5 passes and recovered 2 fumbles this year. During his final year as a junior, he was able to start in 11 games, registering 37 tackles, 9 for loss, 5 sacks, and 2 forced fumbles. After this junior season, Garvin did decide to forego his senior season, entering the 2020 NFL Draft. And at the Combine, he came in at 6'4", weighing 263 pounds, with an arm length of 34 inches. He was also pretty athletic, running his 40-yard dash in 4.82 seconds, his 10-yard split in 1.67, and he put up the bench press 23 times. After this pretty impressive Combine performance, scouts started to dive a little bit deeper into Garvin's game, and they saw positives as well as negatives. As far as his strengths, Garvin impressed by his ability to get upfield in a hurry. His first three steps often saw him in the backfield before any other defender. Alongside this crazy first step, Garvin did an excellent job of utilizing his length to his advantage. In the run game for instance, he did a good job of engaging with the blocker before they could get into his chest and then fighting them off to get the tackle on the play. His length also helped him in pass situations, bat down the ball, and then turn the corner on tackles. He also did an excellent job of staying active with his hands throughout the play, especially on his pass rush moves. But there were also weaknesses to his game. First, he definitely needed to add playing strength to be effective at the next level. Sometimes on his college tape, you would just see him give up way too much ground at the point of attack. Garvin also needed to add some counters to his pass rush game. If his first move didn't work, sometimes he would struggle. Despite these limitations, the Green Bay Packers decided to select Garvin in the 7th round of the 2020 NFL Draft with pick 28. And for 3 years, Garvin played with the Packers from 2020 to 2022. He played in 38 games, started 1, had 32 tackles, and 1.5 and sacks. He also had 2 passes defended. After the 2022 season, he was released, but found his way to the Brigham Stallions of the UFL in 2024. And as I was mentioning, in just 10 games for the Stallions last year, he had 19 tackles, 2 forced fumbles, 2 passes defended, a tackle for loss, and 3.5 and sacks. During his time for the UFL, I was really impressed by his first step and ability to turn the edge on the tackle. And moving into San Francisco, I think he's actually in the best fit right now. A big reason for this is their defensive line coach and the philosophy he has and how he runs his defensive line. San Francisco runs a wide nine that prioritizes their defensive players getting up the field on the line. And I would argue this is Jonathan Garvin's best ability. Outside of Garvin's ability to get up the field quickly in San Francisco's wide nine defense, I think he'll be helped out tremendously by the coaching of Chris Kaserik. Chris Kaserik is one of the better defensive line coaches in the entire league and knows how to get the absolute most out of their players. When you look at a guy like Kerry Hyder, he always has a breakout year when he's coached by Chris Kaserik. In a similar way, I think Chris Kaserik could truly unlock Garvin's full potential that's always been there. He has all the ability, he just needs to put it all together. And entering San Francisco, he won't just have to rely on the coach, but he also can draw off Nick Bosa, Leonard Floyd, 
and even Yeter Gross Matos. So if Jonathan Garvin is able to have a strong preseason, I wouldn't be surprised to see him make a push for San Francisco's 53-man roster. But even if he doesn't make that roster, Garvin has all the physical tools San Francisco wants to develop out of a defensive end so he will probably make the practice squad. But ultimately, these are just some of my thoughts about Jonathan Garvin, and I want to hear who you're excited to see headed into this preseason game. It would also mean a ton to me if you could like and subscribe, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.